Okay, in this video I'd like to continue on with my introduction of Newton's laws and continue with Newton's third law. So a statement of the, of the law is in front of you and it reads if a body A exerts a force on a body B which is called an action then the body B exerts a force on body A the reaction and these forces are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So you might write them the force of A on B is equal to negative the force B on A. So their magnitude is equal to their magnitude is the same. The magnitude is the same, however, they are in opposite directions because they are vectors. And to be honest, you will have heard before every action has an equal but opposite reaction. And the thing about this is this this law is quite deceptive. And it's, in my opinion, the most difficult of the three laws by far. And people rarely, in my opinion, fully understand it. And they get confused. So the way I would like to, I'll give an example, but the way I'd like to deal with this is remember that it's not an action-reaction pair. It's not a Newton third law pair unless you're literally just swapping these, these, these letters here. So, for example, it might be a force of a rope on a man is equal to negative the force, and you wonder what's its action-reaction pair here, it's the man on the rope. Now, if you deal with it that way, it's pretty straightforward, and you might say, well, this is trivial stuff. I'll give an example in a moment, which will illustrate that it's not actually that trivial. Alright? Alright, so... What I want to do is imagine the following scenario. You have a block. Now my drawing is poor. So you have a block, a big heavy block. And on this, that's, that's a block. And attached to the block you have a rope. And attached to the rope you have a man. And the man is pulling the block. All right. So, first of all, what is what are the action-reaction pairs? What are the Newton's third law pairs? Alright, so like I said, it's literally just swapping the subscripts. So we can say that the force of the rope on the man is negative the force of the man on the rope. And also, the force of the block on the rope is negative the force of the rope on the block. Alright, so that's that's pretty straightforward. However, you know, I need, need, need to think here, right, where are the, what other forces are there? Right, well, does this mean, is this, is FMR, the force of the man on the rope, equal to the force of the block on the rope? Now, is that, is, is that the case? Is that an action-reaction pair? Is that a Newton's third law pair? And the answer is, no. And the reason is follows, because they're both forces are acting on the same thing, namely the rope. So it would have to be, a Newton's, in order for it to be a Newton's third law pair, it would either have to be F M R is equal to negative F B R, or excuse me, F M R is equal to negative F R M, or just swap it in here and have negative F B R is equal to negative R F R B, if that makes any sense. But like I said, you're just swapping the two subscripts. And if it's not the case, and the both forces are acting on the same body, namely in this case the rope, then they are not Newton's third law or an action-reaction pair. All right. So what can we say here? Okay, let, let's try this out for size. What if we do the following? What if we think about the rope? What forces are acting on the rope? Well, you're going to have the man pulling the rope, and you're going to have the block pulling the rope. All right, but we also know from Newton's second law that the sum of the forces is equal to the mass times the acceleration. So we know that the mass of the rope times the acceleration of the rope is equal to the sum of the forces on the rope. All right, those two there are vectors. Mass is not a vector, it's a scalar. So let's just apply this here. That means the following. It means that the sum of the forces is equal to. And if you think about this, it's quite straightforward. So you're going to get the sum of the when you have the force of the man on the rope plus the force of the block on the rope 
is equal to mr ar, the mass of the rope times the acceleration of the rope. All right, that's the that's how you analyze this. Now, notice this is not a Newton's third law pair. It's not an action-reaction pair. However, this is applying Newton's second law. All right. So I hope that's just giving you a bit of a, a bit of a feeling about this. Okay. So let's just continue on here. What other uh, what other things can we say? All right. So I'm just going to do some diagrams here. So. Let's just draw this again. How am I going to do this? If we have our block. Okay, there's our block. Like so. Alright, and we have a rope which I'm going to draw in blue. And then we have, let's say, our man pulling the rope. Like so. So, what about these two forces? F of the rope on the man. So that's going in this direction, and the force of the man and the rope going in that direction, because the man is trying to pull it. Is that a Newton's third law pair? The answer is yes. And you can write it like this. So they are equal in magnitude, okay? And that is a Newton's third law pair. But you remember, when you're putting your sum of your overall vectors or overall forces, then you've got to take this into account. What about the following? What if I redraw this scenario and I draw my block? Like so. I draw my rope. This time I'm going to draw it in black. And we have our man pulling the rope again. Alright, so what about the force of the block on the rope? So the force in the block on the rope is going that way. So F, B, R. And what about the force of the man on the rope? We've already spoke about this. So the force of the man on the rope is this direction. Now look, they're going in opposite directions. They're going in opposite directions. So uh, the question is this, is their magnitude the same? So is this the case? Is their magnitude the same? They're going in the opposite directions. And remember that the, the, the law states equal and opposite reactions. But the answer here is no. They are not necessarily equal in magnitude because... It's FBR, the force of the block on the rope, and the force of the man on the rope. Both of these are acting upon the rope, as I, as I said earlier on. So because they're acting on the rope, they are not a third law pair, and that means that their magnitude is not necessarily the same. The same. However, of course, their directions are, in fact, opposite. We really can see that. One is going, as you see, to the left, and one is going, as you see, to the right. So it is not a third law action-reaction pair. And finally, what if we did this? What if we had the block again? Alright, we draw our rope and we have our man. What if we had the following vectors? We had the force of the rope on the block and the force of the man on the rope. What direction is here? The rope on the block. Okay, so the rope on the block is going this direction. And the man on the rope is going in, the man on the rope is going this direction here. They're both going in the same direction. Now are they equal? The answer is, well, first of all, they are not a Newton's third law pair, because they are it's not this in order for it to be a third law pair it would have to be something like this, which it isn't. Okay, so first of all, we know straight out they're not a third law pair. But the question is, is, what about the magnitude? What about their magnitude? Are they the same magnitude? They're both going in the same direction. Have they got the same magnitude? And the answer is that they're not equal. Alright, they're not equal. And the only way that they're equal if the rope is in equilibrium. If, I'm going to draw it in green. If the rope is in equilibrium, all right, then of course these would be equal. But that can only, um, that, or if, of course, if if it's if it's massless, if the say the mass of the rope was equal to zero or is equal to zero, then it would be um, they would be equal. But 
we know the rope is not in equilibrium because it's going to be moving so the answer is that first of all they're not a third law pair and their magnitude is not necessarily the same and in this case unless the mass of the rope is equal to zero then they, it is not in equilibrium and uh, they're not the same alright so that's all I've got to say about Newton's third law for the moment there's definitely a lot there it's a lot more there is a lot more to it than you would think and uh, just one last thing actually I would like to say is well if everything is an equal but opposite reaction then how come the block moves if I was to pull it that's a fair question now but the answer to this is quite simple in order to take into account um, sorry in order to analyze the whole situation you're not just looking at Newton's third law pairs you're looking at every force so let's look at the other forces well we have the following we have the force of the block on the rope going that direction but we also have the force of the rope on the block we have the force of the man on the rope and the force of the rope on the man they are Newton's third law pairs we also have friction okay so the man is let me think now the friction would be going in this direction here friction on the man's shoes and we're going to have is that the right way just let me think now yeah that's right okay and you're going to have friction on the uh, friction on the, the the brick or the block now if it was set up such that perhaps he had he had um, non stay or sorry he had non slip shoes then of course his coefficient of friction would be very high and if this was slippery all right we're after adding more vectors into it these vectors won't be the same and therefore you're going to get a net force non-zero if there's a net force non-zero then you're going to get an acceleration or movement all right so in order to analyze everything you need to take in all of the uh, the all of the forces and not just the obviously the Newton's third law pairs but this this I suppose this video of course is just talking and trying to introduce the fact that you have third law pairs and that just to summarize if there's a force A on B then its third law pair would be the force of B on A and that's how you find just swap the subscripts around the man on the rope the rope on the man and that's the end of that so that's all I've got to say about that Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.